realized really early this morning I wasn't going to be able to really get out of the tent to class because our boots are still soaked. We didn't, weren't able to dry them out last night. So again, thankfully, we brought this heater. I'm glad we set the tent up the way we did because I can glass from in here. So uh, we're kind of pinned down for a little bit, but hopefully I can get these boots dried out in the next couple hours. Um, I gotta put some stuff in there too. Too bad. So, do you see this attitude I get from letting her sleep three extra hours this morning? <laughs> While well, I glass letting me try to find. Let me sleep. <laughs> yeah. It had nothing to do with the fact that uh, we were trapped because we had wet boots and it was raining. <laughs> see this attitude I get? <laughs> we're packed up and heading out of here. Spent a total of. 22 hours here. Um, no elk at all. We did that hike last night in the rain. Jason glass the first half of the day and this is a fantastic glassing spot. You can see all over where elk normally are and did not see a single one. So not only did we not see any on our hunt last night or anywhere last night, um, been seen you today in a lot of country so that tells us they're not here and we're gonna go find them um, we have a couple spots of mine so we're gonna just bike out of here we're gonna relocate Just driving out of the area that we were in, and we got elk. <laughs> just decided to stop and, and glass, and it was a nice looking hillside. And there's a whole herd up here, up up the hill, and I can actually hear them bugling. Really? Yeah. So crazy. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Looking at Onyx. Just uh, I'm they're just marked where the elk are. They're about a mile away as the crow flies. I'm just trying to figure out how we're going to get to him. It just certainly would have been disappointing to have paid at the river. It would have been another waste of the day. It's so, yeah. we're not hunting those elk right now. Uh, there's only one access point and you have to cross the river to get there. Um, the river, we, we didn't know about it until we were out of the state a couple years ago. We didn't get eyes on the river. We just assumed it was crossable because it's a public access point, right? Well, the river is not crossable unless you have like a little boat or waders, I guess. Just, but, just waders and yeah. that. Um, and not, we don't have either one of those. So we had to go, so we had to drive away from the elk. Pretty uncomfortable to leave the first elk that we've seen this trip. 
because of access issues. Let's see what we can find in an area we know we can access. Uh, last time we checked. <laughs> View this area. I was gonna say this basin, but it's a lot of basins. And we're just gonna do our homework for tomorrow. There's supposed to be thunderstorms tonight, and we don't really feel like being out in a tent and the kind of thunderstorms that we've been experiencing the last few days. So we're gonna sleep in the pickup and then head out early in the morning to pack in. Um, the weather's supposed to clear up. It should be beautiful for the last few days. Such a master spotter. Close or far? Ridge or trees? Or other? Got up to where we were going to blast from, and not two seconds later, Jason says, Got elk. And it's not an uncommon thing either. He's pretty money at spotting things. Uh, so apparently there were four elk up there. I had to get my glass up on them before they dip down into behind one of the ridges. So I'm gonna watch that spot and watch all these other spots. I've got a pretty good glassing knob. And uh, yeah, just keep researching for the morning. on the other side over here with a nice bowl. It's feeling pretty good to be in a spot where we could go hunt two herds of elk. I don't know about this, if it's a group or a herd or what you call it, but this is what we came here for. And so we're gonna come back tomorrow and what well, we're gonna keep watching them until it's dark. We're gonna come back tomorrow and get after 
probably that hurt. And uh, unless it, something else comes up, we'll have our, our options to choose from. But it's such a cool area in here and exactly why we wanted to come to a place we could glass. Glassing is the best option and we finally made it to a good spot. <laughs>